going on everyone? Anthony here with AC Toys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we are reviewing the GameStop exclusive Power Rangers Lightning Collection Catherine 2 pack or 3 pack depending on if you count this uh, cat as a figure. Uh, so here we have the standard Power Rangers Lightning Collection uh, 2 pack box style. We have the Zeal Ranger 1 pink artwork on this side, Mighty Morphin pink on this side. You have the pink that wraps around on like so, Mighty Morphin logo up top. You have Zeal Ranger 1 artwork wraps around power ranger zeo logo up top uh you have the two figures displayed in a window box out now this right here kind of has me concerned i don't know why they would pack it to where the holster is like bowed out like that hopefully it falls back down into place if not i'm gonna have to heat that up. i don't know why they just didn't cut the plastic a little bit thicker so it would lay flat that's a weird choice but anyways uh legally at the bottom you have the barcode right there if anybody needs that for scanning purposes at gamestop Nothing at the top. 3D rendering of the figures on the back. But yeah, enough of me rambling on about the packaging. Let's go ahead and crack this set open and see how cool they actually are. All right, and here we have all the figures out of packaging. And well, I guess I could say I kind of lucked out. Uh, I know a lot of people are having a very weird purple magenta thing going on on their torso but mine seems to match pretty decently but at the same time I think it also depends on the lighting uh, so under all these camera lights or whatever my fluorescent lights uh, they come out pretty pink uh, but anyway before we get into the details of the figures let's go ahead and take a quick look at her accessories uh, because she comes with a lot uh, but a lot of it's just basically repeating uh, so for her MMPR version she comes with her uh, power bow which is something we have, you know, seen multiple times before. She comes with her typical arrow that you can kind of have her holding. She actually doesn't, uh, yeah, oh no, I guess she does. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know what kind of hands they give her, but the hands they give her really don't hold this arrow very well. But you have the bow and arrow. You have her power blaster, uh, only in gun mode as per usual. That can go ahead and port in there. Now, this did kind of like bow out a little bit uh, but it seems to be going back down so I guess that wasn't too big of a worry for me and then she comes uh, with her two weapon holding hands on her out of packaging and then she comes with one close fisted hand right here if I can just there you go and then one karate chop posing hand there you go and then they both each come with one uh, so they both come with the same hands on out of packaging and they both come with one fist and one karate chop hand and they are for the exact same hand so it's not vice versa it would have been nice if it was vice versa so that way we could have two karate chop hands but no they're both for one side uh, so that is a conjoining thing right there and then she does come with a uh, ponytail head sculpt which I think looks pretty good uh, I don't know if it looks like her per se but it's definitely better than the first one we got in the metallic ranger set and that this ponytail here is going on very nicely her scrunchie is done very nicely right there and if you want to see it and obviously they can go on either body uh, but I feel like the ponytail in my opinion definitely suits her oh there we go definitely suits her more in her MMPR look uh, because like I don't know that's just how I remember her she wore her ponytail more often in MMPR than she did in Zeo uh, so that is how she looks right there looking really really good and then for oh and then the helmet sculpt right here is basically the new helmet sculpt that everyone's been talking about it is basically the exact same one as the april o'neill head sculpt helmet sculpt uh so it is like the uh how do i say it? the uh narrower visor or not narrower but like i don't know just the visor is painted differently the the beak is painted or sculpted differently it's just it's a new helmet that looks better in my opinion more screen accurate and then for Zeo Ranger 1, you have her typical, like, uh, sword, which only comes in, like, its, you know, extended version. It doesn't come in, like, the sheath version, so you have to put it in this way, when technically I think it's supposed to, like, go in this way. Uh, but obviously you can't have that, so you just have the uh, sword poured in like so. And then you have her, you know, little blaster, which is okay. Uh, the paint applications on these are very sporadic and then it comes with the typical like lightning blast effect that you just poured into there now all the lightning effects are basically for zero ranger one that none of it came for uh zero or the mmpr pink which is weird i'm surprised we didn't get like the typical like arrow lightning effect uh which is weird and you can't use this in the power blaster 
there is no peg. Uh, for the Zeo Blaster, it has like this little extended peg. There is nothing on here. I mean, you could probably kind of like force it on there like really hard, but like it really doesn't stay and then you might stretch it a little bit. But so yeah, so basically all the lightning effects are for Zeo 1, which is fine. I mean, I didn't need another um, arrow effect, but I think a new effect for Zeo or MMPR pink would be nice. But anyway, I think I would have made this pink. Green's kind of a weird choice. Uh, so that just ports into the other side like so. And then she comes with her signature weapon, I guess, or shield. Not really a weapon per se, but mine's kind of like, mine's warped right here. Uh, so this kind of like falls out. I'm gonna have to like heat that up and like kind of like put that back into place. So that's a little bit of a bummer. And then for this one, it comes with another lightning effect piece that you just kind of like slit into right here. So it kind of looks like she's actually blocking a blast. So that's pretty cool. And then like it hinges. I don't know why they opted to put this peg right here. I don't know why. There's no peg hole in the back. She's not Captain America. Uh, like they could have just, I mean, I guess maybe it's for like ease of like pushing it open. Uh, but you just kind of like poured it on there. I don't know. I'm not a fan of these. On my Captain America ones, they break so easily. And this one doesn't even look like it fits her very well. There you go. So because it's so tight, they tend to like break pretty easily in my opinion. So that's how she looks. I guess you can kind of, oh, see, there you go. I got to go ahead and fix that. Oh my God. There we go. Yeah. Anyway, not a very well designed shield in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. I guess she could kind of hold it like that, I guess. Oh yeah. I guess she can hold it like that. So there's that. And that's how you want her to hold it. Yeah, sorry. Dragging on here. Uh, that shield was a little bit harder to mess with. And then uh, she also comes with another head sculpt. And that is her like long hair version. Uh, which I feel like is more associated with Zeo. I feel like her hair was definitely longer in Zeo. So I don't know why it was packed on the other side. But I mean, obviously you can do it any which way you want. But this is how I prefer to like uh, display them. The, the long hair flowing with the Zeo and then the ponytail in the MMPR. And then uh, I guess you can count this as an accessory or a figure. You can count PC in her cat form. Whenever she was like taken over by Rita and Zed, uh, she would be able to turn into a cat. Uh, Aisha and Kimberly named her PC. Uh, if you guys remember what PC stood for, go ahead and let me know in the comments. We'll see who gets it first. Uh, but yeah, it's basically a static figure, no articulation whatsoever. Uh, yeah, nice green eyes, all white, molded and sculpted very nicely. Uh, the hair textures are done very nicely. Overall, good sculpting. Uh, a pretty cool accessory. Nonetheless, oh, I guess you can count this as an accessory for her since that's when she turned. But, oh, uh, doesn't stand. There we go. For whatever reason, it wasn't standing over there. So, yeah, that is it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the closer details of these figures. So let's just go ahead and start with pink real quick because there's nothing new except for the head sculpt. So just to get a quicker look at the head sculpt, there it is once again, looking really, really good. I think this is probably one of my favorite. I think Tommy, as of right now, has the most civilian head sculpts out of any figure in this line. Uh, but I think Catherine is now a second, right? She has uh, three head sculpts now as to where I think everyone else may be like two. Uh, so yeah. Overall, this is the head sculpt on there, and then if you guys want to compare it to the original head sculpt, helmet sculpt, this is it. Uh, so as you can see here, the original one has like a more narrow visor, I swear this one's more bubbly towards the end. Uh, the beak is a lot thicker over here and more pointed over there, uh, and then it goes up a lot longer at the top. So, yeah. Overall, I think this one is more screen accurate, so I much prefer it. But it is what it is. We finally got a new one. Even though this is like the fourth Pink Ranger we've gotten, and it's like the fifth in total of MMPR, if I'm not mistaken. Six if you count Ranger Slayer. Uh, and then for Zeo Ranger Pink, you have her, uh, yeah, just like so. Uh, this head sculpt, I think, is probably my favorite out of the two. I just, I'm not, I don't know, I just really liked her look in Zeo. And then uh, as far as the helmet sculpt goes. Now for this one, for whatever reason, they opted to go back to silver 
instead of white like they did for Aisha and Tommy. So basically, Adam, Rocky, and Aisha come with... No, I'm sorry. Rocky, Adam, and Catherine come with the silver trim, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sorry, as I mentioned before in my last video, I'm in the middle of a move, so all my figures aren't available for me. Uh, so three have silver trims, and two of them have white trims. And if you're wondering, white trim is the correct color, uh, so silver is an odd choice for me. Uh, they didn't continue the gold or white into the shoulders like they did for the other figures. They did, however, paint the cuffs right here gold, so that's good. And then for whatever other reason, she is the only other figure, I think, besides for, who is it, Dino Charge Red? to have the black, short of being a black ranger, she's the only one to have black at the bottom of her boots. And black is the correct way to have it. Like, the bottom of the boots are black. That's how it is in the show. Uh, that's how SH Figures have been doing them. Uh, but for whatever reason, only two figures in this entire line, short of the, you know, the figure having black boots, has the black painted at the bottom. Even MMPR, they should be black at the bottom. But they're not, which isn't too big of a deal for me you're never gonna see that uh but for whatever reason only two figures in this entire line has gotten that treatment and it's a weird choice by hasbro i don't know if that's just it's always been in the plans to make it black at the bottom and production just never does it for whatever reason i i, I don't know like it's weird uh, just like they can't keep the helmet lines consistent i don't know it is what it is i i'm not hating on it it's just yeah Whatever. You never see it. Uh, sort of like the little outline there at the bottom, but not too big of a deal. But overall, same basically Zeo figure that we've gotten before. We finally have a complete Zeo team. I think this is one of like three teams now. We have MMPR complete, we have In Space complete, and now we have Zeo complete. Uh, I don't count like villain teams, so I don't count the Psycho Rangers. I don't count the uh, SPDA squad. Uh, like core teams. This is it. Zeo is the third team that I have completed. And yeah, I'm not going to go into articulation. Uh, they're basically the same single jointed elbows, head rotation, butterflies, waists. Uh, it's all the same. You guys know what it is. It's nothing new. Uh, and it's not new figures. They're just repainted figures. So I'm probably going to skip on that and go straight to the comparisons. Okay, and here we have our ladies in pink. Here we have Zeo Ranger 1 Pink Catherine. We have the original release of the Kimberly Pink Ranger. We have the current release of the Catherine Pink Ranger. We have the April O'Neil Pink Ranger uh, from the TMNT crossover pack with no skirt. That is the main difference with that one. Uh, and then we have the metallic Pink Ranger Catherine that came out, I think, like a year or so ago as a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. Uh, so if you just wanted to see the uh, three Catherine head sculpts and actual like official figures as you can see here these are much more screen accurate screen accurate than the original ones I'm not sure what's going on here this one kind of looks like a Barbie doll but here you go and then obviously all the heads are interchangeable so you can change them up however you want however you see fit uh, I think the metallic pink is still uh, my favorite even though uh, it is a bit more expensive than the others. I just love the translucent uh, pearlescent colors that uh, that the figure is made out of. Uh, I do wish that since this is technically like the fourth time we've gotten this figure, they would have updated somehow maybe like pinless knees or double jointed elbows. I know Shelby is going to be the first female ranger in this line with double elbows. I think they're pinless uh, and I think her knees are pinless. Uh, so once... We get the Shelby figure from Dino Charge Pink. That's going to be the first official like pinless double jointed elbow uh, female figure in the line. Uh, so it would have been nice to have an MMPR updated version since we've seen this so many times. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get the sh cell shaded one. Uh, that's $30 on GameStop and that's like not even like market marked up. That is like the MSRP that M uh, GameStop has it at. I know uh, it's a little bit cheaper on Hasbro Pulse thing is like 26 which is i guess it's kind of like whatever uh but i have that one on pre-owner has repulsed and that one hasn't come in yet but anyways here you guys are the female in pink so thank you guys for watching i know like other reviewers have reviewed this a long time ago that they bought theirs from overseas or whatever i'm just i don't have that type of means to buy them from overseas so i have to wait till they come in for me to review them 
So if you guys came and watched this, even though you didn't have to, I greatly appreciate it. We finally hit 3,000 subscribers. Such a big milestone for this channel, especially for a smaller reviewer channel that can't get the figures that quickly. I know when I do get the figures a lot sooner than other YouTubers, those videos tend to do better, obviously, because, you know, nobody else has done them. Uh, and then when I do videos like these, I'd be lucky if they cross like 100 views or whatever. So if you guys continue to watch every single one of my videos, I truly appreciate it. And thank you so much. Uh, and until next time, guys, later.